Robin. Uh, the Robin Zelda matchup just seems super, super awkward. Um, hello. Um, anyhow, they're opting for Town and City, I believe, as the uh, round one. And of course, we have Speedy D joining the commentary with us today. You're not live quite yet, but you will be momentarily, right. hopefully. Wait. Oh, here we are. All right. So commentary is really hard, so I'll be here to help you out for just a bit. Uh, no worries. No problem, man. Um, appreciate it, as usual. And we have Sans with us. Um, Everything becomes better when Sans is around, as we all know. Just a well-known fact. I see PK Chris hovering above Crom. He does have a cool... This is not final, isn't it? This is grand finals, indeed. Um, PK oh. Chris does have a crumb. He also has a fox a little bit. Okay. Um, I think PK Chris is definitely not confident in the Greninja matchup, especially against Venia. So I can see why he would go for the county pick here. Um, I've heard PK Chris does have a crumb, so maybe this. Ooh, an SD right off the bat, 10 seconds in, not good for Chris. Yeah, that was definitely not. <laughs> that was no, a little bit far from optimal play. Not um, but slice. I also see Jewel opting for the Captain Falcon, which I think is the biggest surprise more than anything. Yeah, Jewel, um, known as like the best Robin in the world right now, and the fact that he's going Captain Falcon in Grand Finals of doubles is uh, honestly a big surprise to most of us. And now Chris with the up he had a shield, the standard crown things, and uh, Jewel uh, opting with the, and the, the good and spike the down air, but down air. Did he down air his teammate? I think Zygdenon down aired PK Chris. I think he did. Yeah, I believe so. He did down air him. Well, that's and unfortunate. He got the spike. Yeah. Um, I think we're definitely going to be a switch after this. They both seem a little bit out of their element right now. Also, but I find it weird. Most of uh, three out of the four competitors here. Oh, and Benny with the foot be the stock. Yeah, three out of the four competitors here are choosing their hard secondaries. I don't understand. Venny is the only one that's going his actual main in grand finals. Um. Wow, and a really great back here to clean up the stock. They're starting to bring it back just a little bit. Wow, actually, it's a lot more even than I initially thought. They both had two one stocks. They both have uh, three stocks each. Um, Definitely, and uh, Crown does have does have the ability to kill really early. You can also say that. You can also say the same for all the other combat. And wow. Chris going for a kamikaze mission, and he was able to get it. And they both share the stocks with each other. And I think that was just mostly maybe a little bit of misspacing coming from Venia because Chris was almost definitely dead, and it was almost like Venia happened to fall into the upbeat because he didn't have a jump. He couldn't air dodge back to ledge. So I just think that was maybe oh. unfortunate. And Did Zero to None hit the double down. I went for a third, but Venia able to grab the ledge before he was able to get his career ended. Yeah, that almost connected into so that, that would have been really, really hype if it did. Um, and now you see both of them just like sort of going off on their respective corners, edge guarding each other. Um, maybe definitely the way to go because Lucina and Krom are maybe some of the most potent edge guarders in the game. Chris setting the fully charged F smash to take out Venia, and now it's Zodanon all up to and PK Chris bringing this back. It's all up to Jules, Captain Falcon, to bring back this two v one. The gentleman going to send Chris away, and now he's going to deal with zero to none, and Chris is back into it. Went for the oh miss punish. You can see Chris, uh, both of them not wanting to commit Ooh, too much, and, Jewel. and that was enough to take out the stock. Jewel not going to be able to get back to the stage there, unfortunate. So game one going to PK Chris's Krom and Zero to Nun's Lucina. Yep. I have played against Zero to Nun's Lucina once. It, it was fun, kind of. I don't, I don't like playing against Lucina much, but it was, it was cool. I didn't mind it. Yep. Zero to Nun does really, really unconventional conversions, like at high percents, you'd see him do like a side B into an aerial. But what I think Ziggy is really, really great at is like timing and spacing those down airs. Um, you see Jewel running it back to Robin. Um, you know, that Captain Falcon definitely, I don't think it put in too much work in the set. I think Venia was like definitely, you know, make, uh, putting them in the blender mostly. Yeah, spe especially considering the fact that Venia, you know, playing his main out of the, mm -hmm. out of the four of them. But Chris and sorry, Chris and Zero to are going to stick with their secondaries, Krom and Lucina. This is this is very odd indeed. They had no reason to switch. They won game one pretty. Yeah, I'm not. I think I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm considering just saying they also SD'd quite a bit. Um, How big of an upset would it be for them to win the entire grand finals using their secondaries? Huh. And again, the uppy, Chris utilizing the uppy a lot, and uh, I'm. Yeah, it's a good move. It does a lot of damage, and it's good. It's good out of shield option. And I really, really love the option that uh, Venia is uh, tending to opt for because he's abusing a lot of Krom's mediocre landing options, uh, converging, um, you know, back here at places where it normally would not be true. But knowing 
It's easy this, so he's gonna get flame trapped with an air dodge into something else. Really great forward air from Venue to close out the stock, applying a bunch of shield pressure to uh, PK Chris and his crumb at yeah, ledge. Now Chris with the S match going to send Jewel off stage, using the up to get back. And that is Venia going off the top, the screen KO, and Chris accidentally F smashing zero to none. Yep. And there goes Chris. You can see. Wow, really great up air into up air. I really love the play there. Um, you know, Venia had landed that third up air that would have definitely been the stock right there. Um, Chris just throwing out these upbeats, trying to do all he can. Again, there it is. Wow, okay, I love that spot dodge from Venia because that has a really, really great secondary hitbox. Venia's timing of the spot dodge was immaculate, able to get through it and punish PK Chris for it really surprisingly well. Um, Another upbeat coming from Chris, gonna send Venia off stage. Wow, well, and the, the up air on the reverse hitbox coming down is so, so good from Jewel. Um, wow, Zero Jewel. Almost getting gimped by that, the Hydro Pump, is that what it's called? I, I forgot. I think uh, so. I believe so. Ooh, and I think, I think he went down in Footstorm. I think he got it. And the oh, Chris and a really great upbeat gimped. coming from Venia also. Getting, yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, the win box on Good Ninja's upbeat is extremely prominent, especially if you're locked into a move like yeah, Crown's uh, up B is very exploitable, especially considering the fact that you got Greninja with a counter and the Hydro mm -hmm. Pump, and Robin is good at edge guarding. Oh, and he misses the two frame on his down tilt. That might have been a little something. I'm not really sure what Crown can do out of down tilt, other than maybe just poke them and keep them off for a second. Love the parry coming from Jewel, because that would have been the definite shield break otherwise. And there goes Jewel's first stock. Um, and a lot of people like to make note of like the fact that it's so like people parry. Lucina's neutral be a lot, but I think the audio cue on it is really, really predictable, and it is the optimal play to parry a shield breaker. Um, and just like that, you know, Venny and Jewel have a three stock lead, almost the opposite of last game. We might see the character switch uh, after this game. I, if would, I would definitely say there's going to be a character switch here. Uh, the Karam and Lucina not going to work out. It's, uh, again, maybe game one, the Cavs and Falcon definitely did weigh him down a little bit. Oh, Ooh, and, yeah. and the upbeat was unfortunate. Uh, maybe he held down because that definitely looked like the distance he would snap. I feel like, quote me on, don't, and don't quote me on this, but I feel like he was trying to do something he would normally do with Zelda, which is just like a regular beefy upbeat by holding down and then snapping a little bit later. But it also might have been he was off by a few pixels to snap to ledge. So it could genuinely be either way. I think it was a little bit of the the uh, holding down because I did see him fast fall a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think it was just one rolling down at the ledge. Now, I'm pretty sure they're gonna switch to their mains now. But, but um, PK Chris, oh no, they're sticking to the Krom and the Lucina. But is he going Marth? No, no, okay. He's yeah. going Lucina. Again, another surprising, it's a little bit surprising that they're going Krom and but Lucina I, again. I understand why, because when Robin and Greninja are keeping Ness, especially Ness, I think much more than Zelda, when they're keeping Ness in disadvantage on edge, there is almost nothing he can do against either character's ledge trapping. Both of these characters have one of the best ledge trapping games against Ness. It's it's just so much to deal with. Um, that is true for PK Chris, but what about Zero Nine? He does have a Zelda, and it, it is not the <laughs> worst uh, choice against these two characters. So a little bit of a mystery for us. We'll never oh, really wow. know. Oh, wow, and, and he Chris didn't have a jump. Not going to be able to get um, back. He wasn't able to get the drift after he did a side beat in the air. Yeah, using one hit of Dancing Blade that's going to stop the momentum and a, hit and a heartbeat. And Jill has just like such phenomenal black backlining. And I think something really, really great about the synergy between Robin and Good Ninja is that uh, Good Ninja can crouch under a lot of Robin's projectiles. So Robin can toss him out. Good Ninja crouches over them. Guess what? You're basically zoning for free with this meat shield in front of you. Yeah. Um, Ooh, and that was a weird angle to be sent at. But as you can see, now... Free, oh, and the two... Uh, that wasn't even a two frame. That was just like a punish That was just a grab. good down there coming from Jewel. Um, really great awareness what, what, what from was, Jewel. I, Venia just down aired off the stage. Mm -hmm. Uh, Miss Input? Uh, that was that was really, happens, really bizarre. Happens. And that, that put him in an even deeper disadvantage. Ooh, great F smash. And Jewel maybe not intentionally getting that footstool because he wasn't able to get the down B after that. Oh, Robin still able to recover from so deep. And wow, look at that. PK Chris and Zeritsunan have a very convincing lead. No thanks to, definitely in thanks to the SD uh, committed by, oh. And it seems like I'm up. 
Oh, uh, uh, you gotta, so I think I'll you gotta catch finish. you guys later. No, I think you uh, gotta finish the match. Sorry. Oh, I have to finish the commentary? Yeah, uh, after this game or after the set, you can leave, I think. Okay. All right. Um, so, anyhow, yeah. uh, they are doing a fantastic job of bringing it back. I looked away from a second, and Venia only took 10 more percent. So if they can find a way to clean up the stocks, is what I would say, had Venya not just lost the stock. Um, when the up that would have that would have taken out uh, that would have taken zero out, but obviously he wouldn't drift aside because that would kill the both of them. I'm great, Nosferatu. I'm going to get that percentage back. Down throw into Chris. Very up very here. clean, simple, effective. Yeah, you can see Chris going for the up I love the change in angle coming from Jewel, avoiding the up hitbox just by drifting a little bit more to the right as opposed to snapping directly to ledge. And wow, and, and this is it. This Jules is his chance. Starting, Jules starting to hold his own against these two, but the border. I don't think and he's that, back. That is definitely no, enough for him to make it back. If he can clean up somehow, PK Chris has stock <gasps> right he now. He almost got it. This is definitely still doable, especially for someone like the best Robin. Oh, and that, ooh, oh my God! The, no, look at that! Look at that! Cleaning it up. Oh, already back to 82 percent. This has just become a lot more possible for Jewel to win this. And I don't think it's such a fantastic idea for PK Chris to be playing up as he is right now. He should be the one backlining because if he loses this stock, this could be really, really, really bad very quickly. Uh. No, uh, sorry, zero to them with the up at a shield. He's out of the green book. The green book is gone, so he's oh not going to be gosh. able to recover. Oh yeah. uh, he ran out. I wasn't even able to notice the green book. Um, so I think you got to go play your set. And that's it because it's best of three, isn't it? No, yeah, that, that is it for... Grand uh, Finals is best of three. Yeah, but that's not Oh, it. they got the bracket reset, yeah, right. Yeah, the reset of the bracket. Uh, Coming on out. I have to go play my side. Yeah. It was really great comment, uh, doing commentary with you. Yeah. I'll be out. Can you do me a quick favor? Actually, can you see if you can find someone? Solo commentary for doubles is immensely hard. <laughs> So what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is me by myself for a bit until I maybe get a commentating partner. I have no idea. But yeah, we're going to get the bracket reset with Venia and Jewel versus PK Chris and Zero to None. As we just saw, Zero to None and PK Chris resetting the bracket from losers. So now this is it. Grand Finals. Winner of this wins the entire doubles bracket. And they're going to PS2. Hands castle. Come on. Aw. And again, the music counterpick, it scares me, folks. It scares me. This song is great, though. Ooh, and they're sticking with the Krom Lucina team. And, uh, sorry, uh, Jewel, no. Yeah, Jewel and Venny are going to stick with their mains. And again, I really do not understand the Krom Lucina pick. The Krom one I can understand with Ness not being too great against both of these characters, but the Lucina pick coming from Zero to None? I don't know too much about Zelda, but I don't think it's that great of a matchup. I don't know. I could just be rambling, but here we go starting the PS2. Oh, I got to play. <laughs> All right. So we're starting off PS2. Uh, Benny and Jewel versus Pika, Chris, and Zero to None. And they're both just facing each other out. Ooh, and the, that might have been dead for uh, Jewel. Because uh, the, the down B does put you in free fall. And the up B going to be able to get him back. Cro uh, Chris, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, Chris going to F tilt him, take him off. Oh, and the Ford are going to be able to. Oh, he's still living. And the sword snipe going to be able to take out Chris's first stock. You can see uh, Zero and then still at a healthy percentage of being living. But that stock could be gone in any minute any minute from any character honestly Chris with the not too great recovery and the great edge guarding tools of someone like Robin or Venia oh sorry Robin or Greninja they can come back from this good for it oh and the Thunder going to be able to keep Chris off I'm sorry zero to that off Ooh, and that was an odd angle. I don't know what he got hit by, but the up out of shield for uh, for Chris. The arc thunder coming out from Jewel. Back throw. Chris going to be able to make it back. And you can see, uh, sorry, Zero and then starting to juggle with Lucina. Ooh, and there goes Chris's second stock. Not looking too good for Chris right now. So I'm going to see if, see if Zero and then can hold on to the stock for as long as he can. 
and the up smash going to be able to take out I know no one. Sorry. I have a match to come up and I So Yeah, both of them just spacing each other out. Uh the Krom up against Shield. And he's going to be able to get punished with the down B. Don't you dare. <laughs> and the back throw coming from Jewel. It's going to be able to live in the the fire. Ooh, I don't know what hit him, but now Benny off the stage, and he's going to be able to make it back. Air dodging past Chris, and there goes Jewel's second stock. And the up he had a shield. Both of them still living. Not too great of a kill move, but it's still good for just getting your opponents off you. And there goes Chris. It is down to zero to none to take out these two immense players with their mains. Somehow he's still uh, he's still he's still living. The arc fire is coming out. When the look of the hydro pump to maybe take out, and the nair coming from zero to none, taking out his partner, but he's going to be able to take out. PK, I'm sorry, zero to none as well. So do I leave? All right, I, th I think I gotta leave my set against the one and only no one. Y'all better stand. Up. Thank you all for having me.